moving to Florida or just visiting, and you're probably wondering, can the weather change that quickly? It can. We're gonna talk about the weather, what you need to wear, how to beat the heat, and your need to know. So today on Wild Florida, we're talking about Florida's weather in September. Hi, I'm Jacqueline, the Wild Floridian, and welcome to my channel all about wildlife, weather, and habitats from your backyard to the theme parks. And today, let's talk about Florida's weather in September. September is hot, humid, and thunderstorms. You are in the middle of extreme weather season, whether it's from our lightning strikes, tornadoes, water spouts, or hurricanes. Extreme weather is dominating in Florida at this time of year. Our average temperature in the month of September is 81 degrees Fahrenheit with highs averaging at about 90, lows at 72. The water is still very warm at 84 degrees Fahrenheit, so you won't get a lot of relief by going in the ocean. And we get sunshine hours at about eight and rain is averaging around seven inches at this time of year. And if you do want to visit during this time of year, well, you're going to need to know what to wear. And of course, sunscreen, sunglasses, hat, shirt, shorts, sandals, swimsuits. It's still going to be raining quite a bit. So you're going to need those ponchos and of course some mosquito protection. In the month of September, you need to know how to beat the heat. And it really comes down to first, you got to protect your skin from that sun. We are the sunshine state and the sun can be brutal. So whether it's just putting some sunscreen on or making sure you have hats and some of the other protective wear or just getting out of the heat generally. Also, you need to make sure you hydrate. You will be sweating a lot, especially if you're not used to this kind of weather. And that doesn't mean just drinking water. You need to also replace your electrolytes. So make sure that you do that. And another thing, take a siesta, get that nap in, go swimming, go do things inside. You know what? You really do need to cool down in the afternoon and you can come back and have more fun in the evening once it's cooled down a bit. What you need to know in the month of September, well, we continue to be at the height of some of the extreme weather. So make sure if you're traveling here, have travel insurance. If you're moving here, you need to understand the things that you need to do for hurricane preparedness. But hey, some fun things to do. The theme parks may be a little bit more bearable for the weather. And other than Labor Day weekend, the crowds are generally a lot lighter and are a great time for getting on lots of rides. One of the fun things that you can do is go to the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot in Walt Disney World. I love going to that. There's so much great food to try and some great alcoholic beverages. It's just a fun time of year to go. Also, I know it might seem weird for those who are moving here, but this is actually the time of year to start your vegetable garden. I know, get those tomatoes and peppers in. It's six months off from what you would do up north, but that's what we do here. And whether you're gonna live here or you're just visiting, September is an amazing time when it comes to wildlife. It is the best time of year to see birds and butterflies. The up northern birds are migrating through as they head down to the Caribbean or down into South America. And we go from our 50 native butterflies to over 180 butterflies. So keep your binoculars out, go bird watching, and make sure you keep an eye out for all the different beautiful butterflies that we get here in our state. And now that you got the need to know, let's move on to the month of October. And to make sure you don't miss that, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notification. New videos each week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.